To really sink our teeth into some of the biggest mysteries in science, we have to venture to some pretty unbelievable places. The bottom of the oceans, the tops of mountains, our past, and even the end of time. But we wouldn't have it any other way, would we? There are between five and six thousand of these holes, and they do make a serpent shape. If it isn't some underground highway or stones that appear to grow, it's bound to be some creature we've never seen before or might never want to see again. Explain all you want, you're just going to have to show us. 15 Most Incredible Discoveries Scientists Can't Explain Part 2 Number 15 The Crocodile Stone As its name suggests, the rock in question contains the carving of a crocodile, located in the Wat Phu Temple Complex in Laos and built on the west bank of the Mekong River at the base of the Fu Kao Mountain. It's been speculated that in ancient times the crocodile stone was used as an altar for religious sacrifices, and it's one of the most unusual objects in the temple. Curiously, a human body could be easily fitted into the stone's cavity, hence giving rise to the speculation that the object could have been used for human sacrifices. Although it's unclear as to when the crocodile stone was created, it's thought to have been made after the 13th century AD. The mystery deepens by the fact that no artifact resembling the crocodile stone has ever been found either in Laos or in neighboring Cambodia. It's also been pointed out that while crocodiles exist in the region, they don't seem to have had any religious significance. This raises further questions about the actual meaning of the crocodile stone. Today, the site is open to public for religious activities and tourist visits. The site features a museum that houses artifacts of the temple complex of several centuries, including statues of Shiva, Vishnu, and other Buddhist statues. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. The headlines in the press at this beach community probably read, Scientist discovers what no one was supposed to see. It's definitely not a slow news day when something like this is found. And of course, a crowd is gathering for this skeletal discovery. The head is attached to a long, and we do mean very long, spine with a rib cage that extends the whole length of it. What kind of creature does it belong to? Maybe it's some sort of ancient giant serpent that, after years in the sand, was finally unearthed much to the delight of scientists everywhere. We're delighted too, and a little terrified. Little is known about this image, what beach, or its relation with the world. So if you could make a guess, what do you think this ancient discovery might be? Use your imaginations in the comments below with the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Ica stones. The stones vary in size and as a result of weathering, they've developed a thin patina. They're shallowly engraved with a variety of images some simple pictures on one side of a pebble up to designs of great complexity. Housed in a small private museum created by a Peruvian physician in 1966 are more than 10,000 Ica stones carved with intriguing images of a lost civilization. These stones in Peru have an astonishing variety of images covering a vast array of subjects. Dinosaurs frolicking, assorted extinct animals, maps and depictions of advanced surgical methods, plus images of flowers, fish, or living animals of various sorts. Others appear to depict scenes. There's a lot to look at. The stones first turned up on the property of a local farmer, and over the years, the farmer produced hundreds of carved stones, attracting the attention both of scholars as well as French theory enthusiasts who saw the stones as evidence of visitations from remote planets or proof of the coexistence of dinosaurs and man, or possibly both. But then, following an investigation into the legitimacy of the stones, in 1973, the farmer admitted to carving the stones himself and artificially aging them in order to pass them off as ancient artifacts. Number 13. Stone Age Underground Highway Stone Age man created a massive network of underground tunnels crisscrossing Europe from Scotland to Turkey. These unexplained passages number in the thousands and are located in a mix of countries. There are around 2,000 known throughout Europe, with the highest concentrations in Bavaria, some 700, and Austria, another 500. They've also been found in France and Great Britain. Yet researchers are at a loss as to the origins and uses. Most are not much larger than big wormholes. 
just wide enough for a person to wriggle along, but nothing else. These uncomfortably tight holes would act as transition points between portions of the passages dug at a higher or lower elevation, requiring anyone passing through to contort and squeeze their way by. Plus, they're interspersed with nooks. At some places, it's larger and there's seating or storage chambers and rooms. However, they don't all link up, but taken together, it's a massive underground network. The single most common trait in these underground highways is a sense of mystery. The complete lack of archaeological signifiers found in the barren underground passages make them difficult to date. Number 12. Sword in the Stone It sounds like something out of a Harry Potter book, but it's very much a real thing, as you can see. The sword in the stone of St. Galgano exists and can be seen today in the Monsiepi Chapel southwest of Siena. It was long a curiosity. Only the wooden grip and a few inches of the three-foot-long blade are visible to be seen in the chapel in Italy. The story was that it was thrust into the stone by an Italian knight after he renounced war to become a hermit in 1180. Allegedly, countless people have tried to steal the sword. On display at the chapel are the mummified hands of a thief who tried to do it. They serve as a warning to would-be sword snatchers. For years, the sword was suspected of being some sort of fake. However, recent scientific tests dealt a surprise to skeptics. The metal of the sword was confirmed to be from the 12th century. Not only is the sword from a medieval era, but ground-penetrating radar analysis revealed that beneath the sword, there is a cavity that could be a burial recess, possibly containing a body. To know more, experts would have to excavate. While it's impossible to verify the sword's legendary history, it's an incredible discovery. Number 11. Bata Valley Statues The megaliths were first discovered in 1908 in an area known as Bata Valley. The statues have straight bodies, oversized heads, round eyes, and a single line to define eyebrows, cheeks, and chin. Most of them stand alone, half buried in the fields, obscured by long grasses. Others are toppled over in rivers. So far, more than 400 carvings have been found in the area, but only about 30 are in the shape of human figures. The statues are not the only megaliths in the area. There are more than 400 carvings in the area. Some of these, called Kalamba, are circular stones resembling pots and cisterns. According to local folklore, they're ancient bathtubs used by kings. Although the discovery has been going on for more than 100 years, little is known about the objects, including when the stone statue was made. Some have speculated that the stones were carved around 5,000 years ago, while others think the megaliths were created around 2,000 years ago. The megaliths were known to the locals for centuries before the Europeans found them, and these Bada Valley statues will attract visitors to this day. Number 10. Pisco Holes About 5,500 man-sized holes can be found while on a trip to Peru's Pisco Valley on the Natska Plateau. Yet, local people and archaeologists have no idea how the holes were formed. Starting at the edge of a valley and continuing up a hill for one mile, the band of holes extends in a north-south orientation over a very uneven, rocky surface. Over the years, it has been suggested that these mysterious holes were graves, war defensive positions, or storage places. Recently, they've been thought of as a storage pit built during the time of the Inca Empire from 1438 to 1533. The ending point has brought forth some speculation. The band abruptly comes to an end near an area of land that has an unnaturally darkened color. Some have said that the darkened area appears to resemble an area that's been destroyed by an explosion. While it's unknown who created the holes, a few miles to the east of the band of holes, satellite imagery reveals what appears to be the remnants of an ancient civilization. There have been alternative theories that the holes were created by extraterrestrial beings ancient aliens who visited Earth and left behind markings to help show where they had been. Number 9. Schist Disc Ancient Egyptian civilization was full of unexplained mysteries that still baffle researchers. This is one of them. The so-called Disc of Sabu, or Schist Disc, is one of the most mysterious objects found in the tomb of Tutankhamun, whose true purpose is still a puzzle for researchers. The prehistoric artifact was found in 1936 by a British Egyptologist and dates back to 3000 BC. It's known as the Schist Disc, as it's made of schist stone, an extremely brittle sedimentary rock and not an uncommon material for the construction of vases and bowls in ancient Egypt. 
It's very delicate and difficult to work with and would require an expert hand. But what was it used for? Over the years, many convincing theories surfaced. Almost immediately following its discovery, the disc was dismissed as being a vase or incense burner, or simply a trivial decorative or ceremonial item. But many believe that this is far, far from the truth. The more common mainstream beliefs include a mixing tool, a water pump, a lamp, an ancient lazy Susan for food distribution, and even rope making. One glimpse and just the basic knowledge of engineering offers a wholly different interpretation. This disc could be a part of a mechanism. Number 8. Say White Stone Say White is an archaeological site in Peru. The site is regarded as the center of religious worship for the Inca people. The site's main attraction is a big granite block whose upper surface is ornamented with complex and mysterious figures resembling a three-dimensional relief map of an ancient city. The relief map is on the upper surface of what appears to be the bottom half of a huge boulder. The rock is carved with more than 200 figures of geometric and zoomorphic shapes, mostly felines, reptiles, frogs, and serpents that are sculpted into the likeness of a topographical hydraulic model, complete with terraces, ponds, rivers, tunnels, and irrigation channels. While the creators remain a mystery, the monolith provides archaeologists with insight into the culture of the pre-Columbian population. Archaeologists have determined that the site was where rituals and ceremonies for the worship of water were conducted. The monolith is an important clue to this since it depicts a water-like flow between the carvings. While the precise meaning of the stone remains unsolved, the monolith is part of the material culture of the Incan people, and as such helps archaeologists piece together how and why they live this way. Number 7. Buddha Mummy Researchers brought a millennium-old statue of the Buddha, which had been on loan to a museum in the Netherlands, to a state-of-the-art hospital in the hopes that modern medical technology could shed light on an ancient mystery. Hidden inside the gold-painted figure was a secret, the mummy of a Buddhist monk in a lotus position. To learn more about what the hospital called its oldest patient ever, the statue was delicately placed on a gurney for doctors to perform an examination under the supervision of a Buddhist art and culture expert. Now it's known that the tests have revealed a surprise. The monk's organs had been removed and replaced with scraps of paper printed with ancient Chinese characters and other rotted material that still has not yet been identified. How the organs had been taken from the mummy remains a mystery. Researchers still have not determined whether the monk mummified himself, a practice that was also widespread in Japan and that was outlawed in the 19th century. If he did, the process was gruesome. Shown outside of China for the first time, the statue had been the centerpiece of a recently completed exhibition at the museum that featured 60 human and animal mummies from around the world. Number 6. Starving of Saqqara a married Canadian couple who amassed a large collection of antiquities brought this statue to Canada in the 1950s. The Starving of Saqqara is the name given to a statue of two seated nude beings, possibly a male and female. Standing just over two feet high, the limestone figures are intriguing and haunting, with their elongated skulls, their slack mouths, and their painfully thin limbs. Squatting naked opposite each other, one rests a hand on the arm of the other. Traces of red pigment hint at decoration. Small streaks of green paint are probably a more recent, possibly accidental addition. Graffiti, in a language as yet undeciphered, has been carved onto the base. The name Saqqara refers to the burial ground of Memphis, Egypt. How the name came to be attached to the artifact is unknown. Saqqara was the main cemetery for Memphis, the former political capital of Egypt, and the fertile Nile Valley. It's a huge burial ground and many of the tombs are still to be investigated by archaeologists, although many have suffered the attention of tomb robbers in both ancient and more recent times. Yet, this beauty remained. Forgery or genuine antiquity? The jury is still out. The statue could have been standing for some time in one of the underground rooms or tombs there, left behind by looters. Number 5. Trovins consisting of a stone core with an outer shell of sand. After a heavy rain, small forms are said to appear on the rocks, leading them to be dubbed the growing stones by locals. 
Known in Romania as trovents, the stones are a type of sandstone concretion that secretes cement and can at times appear to grow as if alive. What's more interesting is the fact that these trovents, when cut, put, had spherical and ellipsoidal rings similar to the ones of a tree trunk. These growing rocks were thought to look identical and even move like the sliding rocks of Death Valley. Stones that grow and move? As far as the growth of these living stones is concerned, certain stones may gradually get slightly larger as the result of absorbing water. In this case, the accumulations and deposits of minerals cemented by waters rich in calcium carbonate seem to be the reason. The gravitation force, seismic shocks, solution cohesion forces, partially surface tension, and the adhesion strength between the sand grains and the liquid are believed to be involved in the moving process. These trovents of Romania are an amazing geological phenomenon, but it's extremely rare to see. Number 4. Fuente Magna Bowl This ancient bowl was most likely crafted by Sumerian people who settled in Bolivia sometime after 2500 BC, so that would make it over 5,000 years old. That makes it one of the most remarkable and contentious archaeological discoveries that have emerged from South America. Sometimes known as the Rosetta Stone of the Americas, this massive stone bowl is said to have been used for ceremonial or ritualistic purposes such as purifications, baptisms, or libations, and it was discovered by chance in Bolivia in 1960 by a farmer. It features beautifully engraved anthropomorphic characters, zoological motifs characteristic of the local culture, and more surprisingly, two types of scripts. The stone vessel is one of the most controversial artifacts in South America because of that as it raises questions about whether there may have been a connection between the Sumerians and the ancient inhabitants of the Andes, located thousands of miles away. The Sumerians were known to sail to the distant Indian subcontinent and some Sumerian ships may have made their way around South Africa and chose to stay. The Fuente Magna Bowl might be the greatest link between two ancient civilizations. Number 3. Yangshan Megalith The Yangshan Quarry is an ancient stone quarry in China. It was used for many centuries as a source of stone for buildings and monuments, and today it's preserved as a historic site. It's most famous for this gigantic unfinished megalith that was abandoned there. Three unfinished pedestal components remain in the quarry to this day, only partially separated from the solid rock of the mountain. The actual dimensions and weight estimates of these structures are astronomical. Three separate pieces were cut, the base of the rectangular pedestal, the body, and the head or crown. According to experts, if the pedestals had been finished and put completely together, meaning installing the body vertically on the base and topping it with the head, it would have stood almost 250 feet tall. After most of the stone cutting work was done, the architects realized that moving such large stones, let alone installing them in an appropriate way, would not be physically possible. This theory is debated by some researchers due to the fact that this Chinese engineer at the time were skilled enough to foresee the impossibility of moving such a stone. For this reason, many believe that this ancient civilization actually had the knowledge and resources to lift and carry the stone. Number 2. Prehistoric Monster Greek for pitchfork and tail, Dicroneris was a genus of trilobites that lived some 419 to 393 million years ago in a shallow sea. Their bodies averaged about an inch or so in length, though their large spines made them at least two inches. Trilobites like this are distinguished from other similar creatures by the pair of large, curled, horn-like spines. In all, there are 18 freestanding spines present, making for an impressive display piece. To what purpose could this spiny exoskeleton have evolved? The answer is simple. Defense. Fish had recently evolved jaws, and in the never-ending arms race between predator and prey, Dicroneris' answer was this spectacular defensive array of spines. It's speculated that such tremendous spines hampered the ability of predators to attack them, as well as to help prevent them from sinking into the soft mud of their environment. The most impressive pair were the spines on the animal's head, the ones that resemble ram's horns, for which the genus gets its name. When a species almost as 100 times bigger than you discovers your remains a few million years after you die, you must be doing something very right survival-wise. Number 1. Stone of Destiny It sits atop the king's seat at the Hill of Tara in Ireland. 
The stone, according to legend, will cry out when the rightful king of Ireland puts his foot against it. This is the oldest inauguration site in Ireland and saw the reign of 142 monarchs over a period of 2,000 years. It's believed to have magical properties and when the rightful ruler put his feet against it, it would roar with joy, rejuvenate him and endow him with a long reign. This ritual was practiced for hundreds of years up until 500 AD. It's allegedly the original stone, but there are several reasons to doubt this. The coronation stones used so generally by the Gaelic tribes all over Ireland and Scotland were comparatively small and portable, but the present pillar stone is 12 feet long by nearly 2 feet in diameter. It would be very unsuitable for standing on during the ceremonies of installation and coronation. There are also 30 visible and 30 buried monuments on the site, some of which date back to 3000 BC. The discovery must be pretty amazing if even scientists are stumped, and that's what makes for even better videos. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.